Hey everyone, lucky to see you again. This is Bundle Bumble. My goal for this season is to play every single game in the bundle for racial justice and equality. That's more than 1700 games. This is a hefty task, but I am determined to go through each and every one of them. I hope you follow along on this adventure, I'm sure we have fun. Maybe. Probably. Hopefully. So, uh, welcome to Bundle Bumble. Bundle Bumble. Yeah, Bundle Bumble. Bundle Bumble? Welcome to Bundle Bumble, my new series of Let's Plays where I explore... Well, I think I already did an intro, so I'm just gonna leave that to future Lucky. Uh, anyways, I'm your host, Lucky. Lucky to meet you. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, oh, darn. And my Me and my bad jokes. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited to start doing this. Uh, as you can see, this is the game Overland by Finji Studios, the same studios behind Night in the Woods, which is an amazing video uh, video game that we will we'll cover in a later uh, episode. And so I'm really looking forward to it. I already played a little bit. I actually recorded like a full <laughs> half an hour of gameplay before before doing this, uh, but I realized that my audio wasn't working, so I have to do it again. But no issue, this is a wonderful game, and now I know more. Now I won't be stumbling through like a dummy, trying to figure everything out, because <laughs> as far as I could see, there wasn't any tutorial, which is fine, I, I get it, it's the vibe. Uh, but well, let's just start this right about now, new game. Uh, East Coast, Woodlands, oh no, it's introduction, yeah, perfect, normal, hard, no, 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 <laughs> tourist, no, we're gonna go normal, hopefully, no humans, dogs can drive all dogs, that seems like an interesting mode, but let, maybe let's just do a normal thing, yes, let's go, oh, such many embarrassing moments in the last gameplay, so I'm hoping I can fix that. Historic Meteor Shower over Alma. Alma. I guess that's the place. Um, Walker Ranch destroyed. No trace of meteorite. Yeah. Some notes that I can't read. Fine field post. Oil men stumped by big discovery. We found something else. Ooh, mysterious. See America. <laughs> What's that pyramid floating? Off the grid, the search for the missing cities. Huh. Interesting. The meteor that changed the world by Roberta Vargas, University. University Press? That seems like an interesting read. I would I would read that, honestly. If I'm in an apocalypse setting, I would totally be reading about it. <laughs> uh, we will only be we will only be playing the first chapter during this episode because we gotta move on to the next game, but hopefully we can cover some of the story. And maybe we can revisit it if you know it gets enough love. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of pretty games to go through. So. Oh yes. What what was that? What happened? <laughs> ah, crash. Day one. Holy crap, are you okay? I certainly hope so. Apparently. I mean, apparently. <laughs> Confirm it. <laughs> Please. So, what next? Ah, uh, good question. I think we should grab another car <laughs> and leave. You take that car and I'll take this one. Oh, we can take two cars? Okay, so, well, it was nice knowing you, Tyrell. Oh, I guess we're just leaving them here. I thought that I had uh, messed up last time because I just left with this character, with the first character, and not with them, but I guess we separated. So, all good. So, which character we got? This is all procedural, as far as I can uh, understand. Um, so, we get a different character each time we play, with a different description. Barrett. Veterinarian in a former life, left behind by his brother. Oh no! I hope it was not purposefully. Oh, Barrett, don't worry, we're gonna get you some revenge. Some sweet, sweet revenge. I swear. But first, we gotta pick up this fuel. 
<laughs> now I know how the game works, so <laughs> all's good. Uh, and I can move closer. I gotta end the turn because I have no energy left. See, I know things, I know things. Oh, sh no. <laughs> what the heck are those? I'm not sticking around to find out. Good choice, honestly. Okay, let's go. Let's fill this up. Uh, get in, get in. Yeah, better than nothing. It's a green car, it's lovely. What the, what, are, what do you mean? Uh, turn on. And leave. Escape. You know, I'm kind of warming up to Barrett. They seem like a very good protagonist and I see myself in them. When I was a little boy, girl, something, you will never know. Um, when I was little, I actually wanted to become a veterinarian. Uh, oh, how foolish I was. I should have known because, I mean, I hate biology now. I just don't get it at all. My worst subject in school. Uh, anyways, here's another person. Let's go talk to them. Hopefully we can get some friends. They left me here. Please help. Oh, don't worry. We're here to, we're here to help. Invite them. Hey, I'm Cyril. Okay, Cyril. Never left his home state before. Allergic to dogs. Oh, no, Cyril. Okay, so in this game you can actually get dogs to travel with you. Last time I had a lovely dog that's called Bubblegum. Oh, how I will miss Bubblegum. Um, but I'm... Oh, if I'm a little sad, maybe we can take dogs on this trip. You know, if we get a dog, Cyril is just gonna have to deal with it. That's it. I'm... I'm taking the dog. Cyril, you don't have any time to be concerning, concerned about uh, allergies when you're in an apocalypse, you know? Like, come on! A dog is so useful. They keep you company and stuff. <laughs> okay, so how about Barrett? You go and find out if there's anything here. Yeah, search. Okay, Barrett, what did we find? Uh, apparently, a can of fuel, which is great because you always need fuel. Okay, now let's go over to Cyril and fill this thing up before getting in. You have to do that. I discovered that you cannot fill it in from the inside because, I mean, it's just logical. Uh, now get in and rest for a bit while Barrett and I do our thing. Enter. So I, I really like this game. Uh, I talked about this last time, but the the isometric perspective of this game is absolutely stunning. I know isometric games are difficult to make in 2D. Uh, I guess 3D is not that complicated. You just shift the focus. <laughs> but still, you know, like planning and designing the layout to work in a in a grid like this, it's I, I would guess it's still an interesting challenge. Uh, and the art style, oh my god. Ah, oh, beautiful, look at this, it's so simple, yet conveys so much meaning, like everything is clear, like I can see clearly where everything is. Uh, and the lighting is also very cool. Oh, the weird. It looks truly like we are, like there's no place beyond this, you know, like we're trapped, it feels a little, uh, uh, closed off. Oh, that's getting close, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Barrett, let's go, let's leave this place. Uh, let's oh, fill it up first. Great, now get in. Scoot over! <laughs> I'm sure these two will be the greatest of friends. Now let's turn this on and let's leave this place. We already got everything, I think. Yeah, escape. Perfect. Bye bye, little creature. We'll see each other in another life. And maybe I will cure you since I'm Barrett the veterinarian. Oh, that tree is beautiful. Can you can you see that tree? Oh, I wanna recreate it so badly. Oh, I'm a 3D artist, by the way. I, I guess I didn't introduce most m m m uh, a lot of about myself. Uh, I'm lucky. I use they them pronouns. I'm a gender. I guess that has to be put out. Um, and I'm a student in university. Digital arts degree. Still alive, that's something. Uh, and yeah, I'm a 3D artist. I, I love 3D art. I suck at drawing and that's it. That's my whole thing. <laughs> Thanks for f picking me up back there. Oh, no worries, dude. You so, you seem so cool and you have a backpack. You're allergic to dogs, which is worrying. Don't worry about it. 
Look, we're chilling right here. Glad we found this new car, though. Yeah, yeah, it's a very lovely shade of green, which fits very well amongst all the reddish colors in the background. Where should we go next? Good question, Barrett. I think you're Barrett. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get some fuel. We have a lot of fuel. We can go for some supplies, I think. Yeah, yeah, last time I forgot to load my supplies into the car because apparently you need to do that. And I just didn't pick anything up. <laughs> Terrible mistake. But not making the same mistake twice, I tell you. You know what they say, hindsight is 2020. Oh, 2020, let's not think about 2020. <laughs> okay, let's see. What can we investigate? So there's some trash cans and there's a mailbox. Okay, Barrett, you go search this trash can and I will have our little friend over there. Uh, Cyril? Cyril, uh, that name rings a bell. Is, is some character in Night Vale called Cyril? I think I may remember that. I didn't hear, uh, listen to a lot of Night Vale. Welcome to Night Vale, but it's a wonderful podcast. I recommend it. <laughs> Anyways, Cyril, go search for it. And it is also like a little like mysterious apocalyptic place. Welcome to Night Vale. So it fits pretty well right here. Uh, okay, what did we get? <gasps> is that a potted plant? Is it? <laughs> Inspect. A plant healthy somehow. Maybe you can trade it. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at this model. It's an, a very nice shading. It's got like, you know, like a little gradient. Ah, beautiful. With you since the beginning. You sure were, Cyril. Cyril, you're a great, the greatest of friends. Uh, so, Barrett, did you found something? Let's uh, inspect. A hat! Comfortable, stylish. Ooh, can we equip it? Can you... Oh, equip! No, no, no. Alright. Can you please be... And equip the hat? Oh, lovely. Now we have a little hat. And what's that? A little stick. What does it do? What does it do? What does it does? I'm terrible at English. Sorry. Flammable. This weapon can be used two times. Oh, we can attack. I didn't know that. I just kept running away. <laughs> but okay, uh, let's run once more. I, I think we shouldn't risk it, so let's just get in the car. And Cyril would have to wait because I think he is out of energy. This game is great. I'm really loving it. Like It's a whole different vibe from Night in the Woods. This studio has such a range. Um, Siphon. No, get in. I'm excited to explore more of their games, you know? Uh, let's turn it on. Zero, can you get us out of here? Ah, perfect. Escape. Oh, we're gonna get through this level in no time, I tell you. No time. This is great. I'm sorry. I, I, I hope I'm not being too boring. I don't feel like I have a lot of commentary. I'm better, you know, exchanging words with another person. Maybe two of them. <laughs> But I'll do my best. Oh, look, there's a person right there. Oh, I hope it's someone else. We need a third friend in this rotation. <laughs> we It it will leave us with, without a lot of feel, but I think it will be worth it. It's always good to have some help. And some friendship, you know? They must be so lonely in this place. If I was in an apocalyptic scenario, I would totally be looking for other people. <laughs> well, have their backs. Uh, work through this together, you know? The more people, the more hope, I say, just now, in this specific situation, because sometimes that doesn't work. <laughs> day one, night. Oh, we're still at day one. Oh, so much has happened. Okay, Barrett, what can we do? Oh, it's night, right? So it's a little spoopy scary. It's, it's dark, but I think if we get to this generator, we can... Oh, the generator is already active. Um... Okay, so maybe... Uh, oof, where could that other person be hiding? Maybe go over here, Barrett? Mm, 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 mm. Okay, this is gonna be a little complicated, but I think we can do this. Uh, walk over here and we'll see what you can do. Oh! Oh, wines! Okay, okay, I think there's a dog over here. <laughs> Oh, 
come on, come on. Is it? Is it? Is it a little dog? It is a little dog, oh. <laughs> Inspect. Oh, mystery pup, maybe seven years old. Oh, that's lovely. They have a little backpack, look at that. <laughs> I hope you have a cool name like Bubblegum did. Okay, so Barrett, you're gonna wait there. And Cyril, maybe... Oh, maybe turn on the... Oh, you know what we can do? We can siphon the gas and put it back into our car because I don't think we need all that visibility, really. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So now we end our turn because we're out of energy. Oh, okay. Let's go back here, fill it up, get in, and... Uh, get in, get in, get in. Get in, perfect. I love that Cyril is just carrying that plant on his back. I totally gotta make some fun out of that. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, turn on. Then we can't move, but that's okay because we have Barret right here. You're gonna invite the dog, kill the dog. Oh my god, I didn't know that was a thing. Hello, puppy. How about pickles? Oh, that's perfect, Barret. Oh, you really have a thing with animals. Uh, Constant is shedding. That's gonna be a little bit of a mess, but that's fine, pickles. That's absolutely fine. Don't worry. Um, oh, you're low on health, but I don't have any food. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna get into the car, yes, and end the turn right here so that we're safe. Oh, it's moving along. Okay, so since the dog can't walk that much because it's hurt, I'm gonna make Cyril drive up to it, and then Pickles can... <laughs> Pickles. Pickles can get into the car. Yeah. Hello, Pickles. And now we can leave. Perfect. I really hope that Cyril's allergy to dogs is just a little plot point and it isn't like an actual mechanic because I will be very sad. But Pickles can fend on his own and I'm sure Cyril really needs our help. He looks like he needs some company. Not the most comfortable car, car I ever drove. Oh, I'm sure you, <laughs> you've drawn better cars. You can pick Picky right now, it's the apocalypse. Come on, dude. <laughs> sure thing, Pickles. Sure thing. Oh, look at them with the stick and the plant. Oh, meant for each other. I really don't want to run out of gas here. Me neither, but don't we have gas? There's a gas station right there. Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it'd be a little silly. What does the map say? That's a good question. Let's check it out. Oh, but we do have some fuel, don't we? Oh, I guess not. The car has a little med pack. Oh, can we use it on pickles? Oh, okay, okay. Can we use it? Okay, apparently not, so... Barter camp, what does that mean? Car in good shape... Mm, it'd be good to get another car because this one is running out of fuel, so... Oh, but the barter camp... Okay, we can trade the plant maybe for some fuel, let's see. I think barter means like trading, right? I'm not very sure. I don't have that word in my vocabulary, like totally settled in, so... I'm, I don't know. You know, I'm lucky. What can go wrong, right? <laughs> I'm sure everything will work out, and if not, we can load the save up. <laughs> I can always just pretend this fails and do it again from the top <laughs> once more. Okay, what is this? Uh, okay, so this is another person and he's looking out for a stick, I guess? Okay, so Barrett should be the one who goes there. Is this another dog? Is that a cutie? A, a doggy? <laughs> Attack! No, definitely not. We we want to talk with him. Okay, I think he's holding a stick, so I'm gonna approach with Cyril, since that's the person who has the items. Oh, okay, let's trade, let's trade. What do you have? Uh, some pills, a repair kit, a fire extinguisher, or a knife. Okay, so I think we should give Cyril a knife. 
<laughs> equip him with a little firepower. But the fire extinguisher seems useful though. <gasps> oh look, the tree is back! We can appreciate it once more. Oh look, it's like a little particle effect, right? For the leaves, but it gives transparency so that you can see what happens uh, behind it. That's very smart. It still looks like a tree, but it is not obstructing the view. Hmm, I love that solution. Uh, so, why does this have like an hexagon? Is that because you can use it on yourself? Hmm. Well, I wouldn't be sure, but I think we need the tools right now. So let's... Oh, part three. <laughs> Great. Can you part with the first aid kit? Oh, okay. Could use a first aid kit. Uh, okay. So, since we are not in bad shape, I think we should... Uh, wait, 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 the car. Oh, the car. Oh, the... Right, Pickles has the... Has the... Um, yeah, this thing. So, how about you... Trade over this with Barret. Yeah, great. Oof, this is very intuitive. I wouldn't have guessed that's how it works. Okay, so now we can go over to Barret and come and trade. Okay, so the 8 kit seems a little smart to keep since, you know, we could get hurt easily. But I think that extinguisher is worth it. Because I can avoid attacks, but I don't know if I can avoid a situation with fire, so let's get it. <laughs> Just in case, you know. You got nothing we need. Mm, okay, I get it. I mean, do you not need our friendship? <laughs> I would love to get to add you to our little party, but I, I think you got life figured out, don't you? Little marketplace right here in the open world. <laughs> Let's end this turn and then leave. I think this is all we could do. Uh, pile in. What does that mean? Oh, okay. So everyone is in the car. Let's first uh, place the this thing in the car because that leaves the two of us with a weapon. Cyril with the knife. That seems dangerous, but I think it will be useful later. Maybe we can try fending off a, a, one of the creatures in the next level because I haven't tried the combat system at all. I've just been scavenging and running away. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I'm sorry. I, I'm doing this for myself, but I still hope that other people can enjoy this as well. <laughs> Stop, we got a pullover. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can... We can pull over here and find some fuel. Ah, that's right. I forgot about the fuel situation, but... Not to worry. We got this figured out. Sorry about all the noise. Maybe my keyboard is making or the table. I have a really, sh like, simple microphone. So it's not really uh, blocking off a lot of noise. But it's what I have, you know? <laughs> I just needed to start doing this. Let's see, so we can get some fuel right here. So can you start the car? Yep. Now let's drive all over here. Yeah, that way we're safe from the monsters and we can quickly get the fuel. Because stay in the car. Barret will do this. At least I thought Barret would do this. Oh, oh, okay, okay. No, no, no. I have to turn off the car. Sorry. <laughs> turn off. Great. Now, Barret, please go pick this up. Yep. Oh, it's completely full. That's amazing. That's exactly what we needed. Can we... Can we refuel the car? No. We ran out of energy. That's fine, that's fine. Every enemy is far away, and we're about to leave this place, so... It should be good. Oof, that's better. Okay, let's get in. And now, Cyril, if you would escort us to the exit, please and thank you. I think we gotta turn it on, yes. And escape. Oh, see, we're so smart. You and me, audience, uh, audience and you're sending me good vibes, I know it. <laughs> we did it, we managed to escape. The road is blocked and we'll have to clear it. Very well, I think this is the last level before the first section ends, which would be a great place to leave this episode.
ah, this is amazing, this is much smoother than my last recording. <laughs> I was having a lot of troubles with that one. Now that I understand the game a little better, I can do a little better. <laughs> they do! Great! This is, this is awesome. Okay, so what is blocking our way? This car, right? So what can we do to... Oh, can we push it? Uh, let's... Okay. So, Cyril, can you turn on the car and let's and drive over here, so we're closer. And now, okay, Cyril, now turn it off. Thank you, Cyril. And now, Barrett, come to this car, mm, get in, yes. Sun's going down, oof, that's not good. Uh, can we turn it on? Oh, it has no fuel? Oh, I see, I see. Okay, Cyril, we'll have you fetch the gas. You have a knife, I'm sure you're gonna do well. Uh, enter. We gotta take this other car because that one has a lot of fuel and our stuff and pickles. So yeah, we're only gonna move this other car out of the way. Pick it up. That's a neat little puzzle right here. Okay, now, oof, we cannot walk that close to it, but that's fine, that's fine. We can do it on the next turn. Okay, okay, maybe I can get Barrett out of the car. Now, organize, and then take the fuel from Cyril to Barrett. Now, refuel the, this bad boy, fill it up, yeah, hell yeah. S should help, I guess, yes! Now get in, and turn on the car. <laughs> And we can't move because we have no energy. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna be fine. Oof, they're getting closer. <laughs> okay, so now move this car out of the way, Barrett, please. Perfect, turn it off. Now get into this other car. Oh no, you're gonna run out of energy. <sighs> ah, that's rough. Okay, okay. Cyril, please get into the car. Yep. Make room. Okay, thank you, Pickles. Now turn it on, and now end the turn before we get attacked. <laughs> oh, we're so close. Okay, okay. Uh, Barrett, just get get in the car, Barrett. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Look, ah, uh, we already have all of this cleared out. Oh, this was such a sweet escape. Last time we almost died escaping. I have a, two lovely uh, people with my team, which I was not ready to say goodbye to. Ah, oh, this feels great. Amazing, that means this is gonna be the end of the episode, I guess, but let's see first what happens. The woodlands. 315 miles travel. I don't know how much a mile is, but sure. <laughs> I'm Mexican, I don't know if I said that in earlier in my introduction, I was rushing through it. Oh, so yeah, that's why I have this strong accent of mine. Seems quiet here. Yeah, it really does, a little dark maybe. I was pretty worried back there. You and me too, uh, do you have the hat? Are you Barrett? I think you're Barrett. Same here. But we made it through, with the power of friendship and of pickles. I'll keep an eye out for a first aid kit. Ah, oh, that would be very useful because pickles really needs it, I think. Yeah, same. I don't know if you can heal the dog with it, but yes. Uh, this new item should be useful. Probably, I mean a stick, a knife, a fire extinguisher. We've got it all planned out. Where do we go now? We have a map, right? Let's see. Let's see. Ah, yes, okay. So this is a ne the next some folk. Okay. Uh, I really want to do that mission, but we gotta turn the episode off right now. Okay, uh, thank you everyone for watching this is my first episode of this series. Uh, what did I call it? Bundle Bumble, I think. <laughs> this is the first game out of like a thousand games that we're gonna try and go through <laughs> in this in this series. Um, maybe I get some people to come over and record with me. That would be great, I think. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, good luck out there, everyone. Uh, be safe, 
uh, stay in quarantine, get vaccinated. I don't know how all of that works. <laughs> just be safe out there. And we're gonna pull through this apocalypse, just like in this game. Uh, and go share some love with Finji, the developers. I'm gonna leave the, the, the Ichio page for the game down below. So you can try it out if you wanna. I think I think it's available for purchase. And yeah, that would be all. Uh, good luck. Uh, over and out, I think. Bye-bye. <laughs>